In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your crankshaft position sensor on your Toyota Camry. It's located behind the passenger side wheel well in the front. I'm on the passenger side uh, under the hood and below this mount, there's going to be a bolt that's above the tensioner. Once you pull back on it, you're going to slide the belt off the alternator. and then you can release your tensioner. Just let it go back. Remove your tool. Now we're gonna remove the belt all the rest of the way. Just slide it down. And you can either pull it out from the top or drop it out from the bottom. Remove your hubcap using a pry bar. Just get it in there. Slowly go around. And once it's unhooked, take it off. Remove your lug nuts. <laughs> Using a 21 millimeter socket. Remove your wheel. Now you can remove your belt the rest of the way out here. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove these two bolts for this plastic cover. Remove the cover. Using a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, we're gonna remove this one bolt for the crankshaft position sensor. Once you get it cracked loose, you can go in and just take it out by hand. And now we're gonna remove the sensor. You're going to want to insert a very small flathead screwdriver and just gently twist. And as you do so, the sensor will come out. Now we're going to go and remove the wire all the way up and up towards the alternator. Now that you have your wiring harness in place up top, we're going to insert our sensor. Now we're going to remove the harness up top. To do that, you're going to pull it out of its little bracket. Now we're up top. And then we're going to remove the wire. You're going to disconnect your connector here. You're going to push in to do that. There's a little push in right there and remove it. I'm going to set this aside. We are going to put some rust penetrant on this end of the connector and slide it off of its bracket. I'm using a pry bar to remove this from the bracket since ours was so stuck. Once it's removed, you're going to pull it out. It should fit through this little crack here. You're gonna wanna pull it all the way out so you get the really thin area and pull it out. 
clean up that little bracket if yours is as rusty as us before reinstall. To install, you're gonna do the reverse of what you did to take it out. You're gonna go down here first, slide it through the skinnier pat. Or should I say, slide the skinny pat of the harness through. Gentle with the wires. Slide it up. Come around to the bracket. Slide your connector on. I'm going to re-point it up and just bend it up a little bit. Plug it in. Make sure you hear that click. Now we're going to continue to feed the wire below inside the bracket. Gently place your crank sensor through and downward and then push the wire into the bracket. Once it's in, you're gonna go below and install it. So here we are through the wheel well on the passenger side. And we're gonna insert our crankshaft position sensor. Line it up, push it in. Make sure you've lubed your O-ring with some oil. We're going to add some oil on that O-ring. And now we're going to push it in. Apply pressure. And it should go in. Now you can put your bolt in. We're going to snug it up. If you can get a torque wrench in there, it's 80 inch pounds. If you can't, just do your best. We're gonna put our serpentine belt on. To do that, you're gonna go through, past the water pump pulley, and get your belt onto the crank, which is the last one on the bottom that's really big. You're going to let the side of the belt that's closest to the front of the car go off to the side and go around the AC pulley, which is the first, first one closest to the bumper on the bottom. So you're around the AC pulley and the crank. Now you're going to push the belt in and put it under the tensioner just to get it in the right position. You still have that opening in the wheel well if you need to look down and make sure you're in the right spot. After you take it around that tensioner you're going to go all the way to the back and get it around the power steering pump pulley which is all the way in the back so just push it all the way through And then kind of gently get it close to that alternator. You can even put it on for now if needed. Now I'm going back in the wheel well and I'm going to reach up and put it on the power steering pump pulley. You can take it off your water pump pulley at this point. Anything that doesn't have a, a uh, ledge for a pulley and just slip it onto that power steering pump.
Now I'm going to go back up, make sure everything's where it belongs, and I'm going to slide it back onto my water pump. And now we're ready to slip it onto our alternator. Take a peek down, make sure you push that belt onto your power steering pump. And now we're going to get our 19 millimeter socket and ratchet or a breaker bar and put it on the tensioner bolt. Or should I say nut. Push down on your tensioner, slowly, evenly, apply a good amount of pressure till it, does, till it stops, and then you're going to put your belt on your alternator. If it's a little snug and doesn't want to go on, you can take it off your water pump, because that one does not have a lip on the pulley. If it's a new belt, you're going to have to do it this way. You're going to put it on the alternator and then slip the belt on the water pump. So now we're going to pull down on our tensioner, go nice and slow and even. Once you get it all the way down, you're going to slip the belt onto the alternator. And if you can't do that, you're going to slide it off the alternator slide it off the water pump, put it on the alternator first, and then slide it onto the alternator. It depends on how much space you get. Once you're on, make sure that everything's where it belongs, and if it's not, pop it back on and release. Now we're going to install our shield, put that end in first, now we have our 10 millimeter socket, now we're going to get our bolts added. And then we're going to tighten them down. on, set your lug nuts, make sure you have the tapered side in, we're going to tighten these in a star-like pattern. usually put the lower one on the bottom and I walk the rim on. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to torque our lug nuts to 76 foot pounds. Line up your valve stem with the hubcap and slowly push it on using a rubber mallet. Go around the perimeter. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.